In front of me here, I have two of the best webcams available on the market today. We've got the Insta360 Link and we've got the Obsbot Tiny 2. This has just been released recently. The Link has been out for about a year, but let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages and which one I use on a daily basis. So here is a image quality comparison between these two cameras. We've got the Obsbot Tiny on the right hand side and then we've your left and we've got the Insta360 Link on the left hand side, your right to you. So um, yeah, this is what they look like personally and this is just my honest opinion. I think the Insta360 Link looks just a little bit better, a little bit cleaner. The Obsbot looks a little bit more washed out, maybe a little bit more of a natural colour but I like the vibrance that you get from the Insta360 Link. So this is what they look like. Both of these cameras have got party tricks. The Obsbot has the ability to use voice control so you can track yourself using your voice. It's got various different controls that you can use via your voice. Now the Link has a new update. The firmware is coming soon where you can actually control the camera via your mobile phone. Now I think it's only available on iOS originally. Maybe it will come into Android soon, but you can actually log into the link controller you press the remote control scan the QR code then you'll be able to control the camera with your phone it's a really great feature it works very very well you can set presets you can zoom in and out you can even flip the image there's loads of things you can do and just sort of control it with the pad on your phone it's fantastic it works extremely well I've been testing it out for them over the last couple of weeks and I think it's a great addition to the firmware on this fantastic web camera if you want to control the Obspot Tiny 2 with a remote, then you have to buy it separately. And that's the other advantage the Link has over the Tiny 2. Uh, it is available uh, on the website, but you have to purchase it separately. So yeah, that new software, that new update, that new firmware thing they've introduced for the Link coming soon, brilliant update. Let's go to the Link. So this is just the Link on its own. Let's just test the tracking out because the tracking is really, really impressive. So all you have to do is hold your palm up and it recognizes the fact you want to be tracked. And what I've found with the link is that the tracking is very smooth. It follows you around left and right. And if you're doing something, you're moving around in a classroom, it comes in really handy, not, not to mention that whiteboard mode you've got on both of these cameras where it actually fixates on the whiteboard behind you. It's a brilliant feature. I did feature that in my main review. I'll link it up above if you want to check that out. Both of these uh, cameras, you hold your palm up to the camera and it starts tracking. So we hold the palm up. Like that. Now, what I've found is that the Tiny isn't tracking me. Now what I've found is that with the Tiny, it's just a, a little bit slower, a little bit more jerky with the tracking. The Insta360 Link is quite smooth, as you can see, it's sort of sticking onto my face and it does it like a smooth manner. With the Obsbot, it's just a little bit, bit slower to react and a little bit more wiggly when it comes to the tracking. It's not a massive issue, it still does it well, but yeah, that's just something to think about if the tracking is important to you. Image-wise, I just think the image looks a little bit better on the uh, Insta360 Link. The image is good, good enough, but if I was doing, for instance, an interview on TV, instead of using the built-in Mac, like I see so many people do on the television for some unknown reason with AirPods, I'd get myself a nice mic, and I'd use the Insta360 Link 100% and be totally confident in the image quality and the uh, reliability of the software and stuff. So total confidence in, in the Insta360 Link. The Obsbot, it looks good. Is it TV quality? Good enough for doing an interview? Uh, yeah, maybe it is, but it's just not as good as the Insta360 Link. Software-wise, these cameras are pretty similar. I like the layout of the Obsbot webcam software. You've got all these different tracking options and you can control the camera via the gimbal there, zoom in and out. You can change the image, the focus, um, the blur doesn't really work particularly very well. And so I would steer, steer away from sort of the beauty uh, things. You can switch the blur background um, on and off blur level like that but it, some of the features don't seem to work it needs updating I think but yeah so I mean you have got these features in here 
but sometimes they're a little bit hit miss with the software. As far as software goes with the Insta360 Link, I've just found it more reliable. There's updates coming all soon. You've got autofocus, manual focus, streaming mode, HDR mode that's working straight away. We haven't got HDR with the Obzot just yet. It will be coming soon. Then we've got the firmware update. You've got all these different auto tracking, zoom and whiteboard modes. You can change the auto exposure to manual exposure and really dial in your picture if you really want to, but I just found it out of camera look just fine and then you've got the gimbal controls with the positioning along the bottom here you've got the tracking you can turn on there the whiteboard mode the overhead mode where you can actually set both these cameras on like an overhead rig to point straight down they're really good quality cameras so both of these would make sort of great youtuber cameras where you could use it as like an overhead rig and they've both got desk modes where you press a desk desk view mode and it uh, sort of looks down uses a bit of AI software to make it less warped um, and there it is and you've got the where 1080p there we can change it to 4k if you want to this is the 4K, it looks really good uh, that I'm using right now. So that is the software. While these two are very similar devices, there are things that I do prefer about the Insta360 Link over the Tiny 2. You can't go wrong with both of these cameras. Um, but the, the other one thing I would mention is that the Link sits just a little bit flusher on top of your screen. It's got the built-in mount here that you just drop down and it drops onto the onto any size monitor. This comes with a separate mount which magnetizes on there. It's a clever design, but it just adds a little bit more bulk. It's a bit of a bigger device. It does like stand above the monitor a little bit more and is a little bit noticeable. The Obsbot does come with a handy carry case and a little adapter for using USB-A instead of USB-C. While the Insta360 Link just comes standalone like that, you can buy a tripod kit which is available. Like I said, I will link everything in the description down below, but these are two fan fantastic web cameras for 4k footage but i just use the linster 360 link over the obspot just because of the quality and the software and the tracking features are a little bit better okay that's it for this one hope it helped if you're looking at buying one of these web cameras make sure your next video call is in good high quality and use an external audio source it really does help although i will note that the audio on these two devices standalone are really good okay that's it for this one i'll see you on the next one bye guys Thank <laughs> you.